only joins us now. Bill, we really appreciate your, your time today. How are you finding the first few months as the owner of a Premier League club? I love it. I love, uh, I love Bournemouth. I, I love being involved with this team. It's really, I mean, it's a, it's a dream of mine for years and years to be involved in the Premier League. And we were fortunate enough to have an opportunity a year ago or so, or nine months ago. And no, I'm having, I'm having a great time. What, why Bournemouth? What, what was the big appeal? Well, first it was for sale. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I was offered a number of opportunities with other teams at various times, but it was always a minority ownership interest, maybe 10%, 20%. And so this was an opportunity to buy 100% of the team with, with some of my partners. Mm. And so if there's a mistake being made, it's on me. Mm. It's not on somebody else. And I can only complain to myself, can I? Bill, you, you, you've got a very successful ice hockey team in the States. And obviously, the, the obvious difference is playing on grass, playing on ice. What's the biggest differences you found from, from, from that sport franchise to this one that have you found business wise? Um, really, they're very similar in a lot of different ways. The way you accumulate players and, and build a team in the Premier League is different. Uh, we have very strict rules. We have a hard salary cap, uh, 83.5 million. You can't go above it. Uh, we also have different, different ways of acquiring players. It's very strict. It's, uh, there's no hijacking in the, in the NHL, uh, where here you can keep on talking to players all the way through and the agents. So it, in that way, it's different. Have but, there been some attempted hijacks on some targets that <laughs> you had? <laughs> well, Nicholas Jackson. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we could have asked. Uh, uh, <laughs> scored a goal, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, we'd like to have We tried to get him back this yeah. year. Ooh. We had him last year, and um, I, I believe we made a mistake. We, he didn't, make, didn't pass his medical, but actually he played much sooner than we thought he would. So I'm, but I'm sorry we didn't get him. So Chelsea have gazumped a few people this, yeah. this transfer window. He's not the only one, I have to say. Are there things you put in place in America, in Vegas, as, as part of the match day experience that you think are transferable here? Well, we're not going to we're not going to change what's already here in the Premier League and the traditions that people are used to seeing. But Las Vegas is the entertainment capital of the world. So if you ever have a chance to go to a game, we are entertaining and we're different. And we have can, all. Can we get some tickets? <laughs> sure, absolutely, absolutely. You can come, you come sit in the box with me. Sounds sounds great. <laughs> Yeah, can I just ask um, the differences between the kind of the fans when you say with ice hockey and, and, and the Premier League? I think it's, it's very. I know, I know players. I mean, Joe's Joe's done it himself. He's gone over and played in America, and he said the fans are so different to the ones in England. What are the what are the differences that you found with the with the fans? Well, they aren't that different. If you if you don't win, mm. then you've got a problem. Okay. Um, but our fans, uh, we've been sold out every night in the in the six years we've been in existence. Mm. Our fans are crazy, crazy in terms of supporting the team, always with it. If we're down 4-2, mm -hmm. they're still with the team, they're still with the game. Um, I have to motivate our fans here a little bit more. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. But we're going to do that by building a new stadium, mm -hmm. having be more, have more seats for people to come yeah. to the games. Is that we the get, plan? That's the plan. That's the plan. We first have to finish our training facility. Uh, once that's done, we can move out of the training facility here, and we can start working on a new stadium. And so it's a probably two or three years off. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna take us that long. Yeah. Bill, there were a, a lot of a lot of people out there who felt that the sacking of Gary O'Neill was, was harsh because of what was achieved last season. Can you tell us a bit more about the thinking behind that and why you really felt that Andoni Iraola was the right man for this next phase of, of your development? You know, we love Gary O'Neill. He did a, he kept us up. He did a he did a great job. Um, the technical staff and Neil Blake and myself talked about this a number of different times. And we thought, you know, if we're going to change the makeup of the team and the way we play football, we may need a new person, a new person to lead us. And and Doni came up, became available. And it was really not, it wasn't something that was pre-planned last November or last January. I honestly thought that Gary O'Neill would be our coach today until Andoni became available in kind of the middle of May. Cool. And I felt like we just... I wanted to be more aggressive on the pitch. And you didn't I, want to miss that opportunity. I didn't want to miss the opportunity. And, and, and but I, I do wish Gary O'Neill the best. He, he's a good guy, and I, I like him, and I know he'll do well at Wolves. And what are the uh, qualities that the new manager brings to this side? Well, Andoni is a very, he's, he's a very aggressive player. He's gonna, we're gonna be, we're gonna be pressing all the time. 
and that's one of the things we've been doing during this transfer window is trying to develop, acquire players that can play in Andoni's style. Mm -hmm. And I believe we've done that. But some of them are hurt right now. Uh, so, in ice hockey, we're an aggressive ice hockey, ice hockey team. Mm -hmm. We obviously we won the Stanley Cup, and we did it by having good defense, but having offense, a lot of offense. And I think you'll see a difference today in our team. Uh, and it'll keep on changing as we evolve during this year. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy. And, and Andoni's our man. And as I said, uh, if there's a mistake being made, it's on me. Phil, we really appreciate your time and, and your honesty today as well. Thanks very much for, yeah. for coming Thank out to talk Great, yeah. great being with you. Thank you so very much. Yeah, Phil. Yeah, yeah, come, yeah, come to hockey. Come to hockey. It's time to go. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.